Okay, bye you two. See you later. Be good for dad, okay? They don't even know that I'm leaving. Okay, here we go. Well, if they're putting their tree up, I'm putting my truck. <laughs> A big old tree. We're here at the Tanner building at BYU and we're going to. Is it this way? Yeah, it's um, upstairs. We're going to a speaker series. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, I think so. They have, we're doing these speaker series with Mbasa. Oh, there's a blue line. I always wondered what the blue line was. Black's always talking about it. Black gets his gourmet. Looks cool. Gourmet. Anyway, today, what's her name? Do you remember? Uh, I can tell you. We have a speaker and she's like an archaeologist or something. She's even talked to us about the digs that she's done in like Egypt Joyce and Smith. Joyce Smith. I thought it was a Smith name. Anyway, it should be interesting and educating. Educational? <laughs> And she recently returned from an assi assignment serving at the BYU Jerusalem Center. She graduated from BYU in art education, and she taught secondary art in English. Joyce is on the BYU Egypt archaeology team, specializing in textiles, where she helps unwrap mummies, seriously awesome, and analyze the textiles and jewelry and artifacts. Joyce has also served on the leadership council of the Museum of Art. She enjoys working in the temple and gardening. Jeff and Joyce have four children and six grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Or have, do you have more? Almost seven. Some on the way. <laughs> six and a half. Pulls and tunes to help them live happily ever after with their families in the next life. So to address this, let's, let's first take a look at tombs. The ancient tombs were the eternal dwelling places for individuals. And this was a tomb for a while. They made pit tombs because they were trying to keep uh, from having grave robbers pillage their tombs. So they dug deep, deep, deep tombs, put the body in the bottom, put all of the wealth and, and that in the tomb. And usually it was the people who dug the tomb that did the pillaging. So uh, <laughs> the ox. And it is, it is a, a symbol, a cross type symbol, but it is a symbol of life. So you will see a lot of the pharaohs in some of their, their pictures, uh, they'll have one in their hand. They'll be holding an ankh, and it is, it is a life symbol. Okay, so that little seminar speaker type thing that I went to last night was so cool. So this is the next day, I'm kind of like thinking about it from last night. It was so cool and um, so the speaker was Joyce Smith and she is a graduate from BYU um, or an alumni of BYU. She got her undergraduate at BYU and she's just a really awesome woman who I just like, first of all, the whole topic was amazing. The topic just, you know, learning about ancient Egypt and all of the cool things that go along with that. I mean, it's like endless amazingness. Um, but also just seeing how successful she is in what she loves, it just really made me like inspired to do the things that I love because I have like so much life ahead of me and we were talking with her after the presentation and she was just saying how she's so happy that she, you know, got married when she did and had her family, like had her kids and raised her family and then now she gets to go live this amazing adventurous life. I mean, she just got back from Jerusalem um, on assignment at the Jerusalem, the BYU Jerusalem Center, and she's been to Egypt multiple times, and she's been all around the world. Um, and we, so we were just talking about how it's really awesome that me and a bunch of the women that I hang out with a lot and the moms that I hang out with were all very young, and a lot of people kind of look down on getting married young and having your kids so young. But honestly, I think it's like the way to go <laughs> because if you can't, I mean, obviously not everyone has that option, but if you're like dating and wanting to get married young and wanting to raise your family while you're young, it's kind of like the perfect 
a solution for wanting wanting to have like a career later on because I'm going to be like all of my kids are going to be in all day school by the time I'm like 35. I don't know. I don't know how many kids we're going to have. But mid like mid 30s, I'm going to be very free to do a lot of things that I want to do. And I don't know, I'm probably just rambling now, but I'm just, I'm really happy with my position in life right now and being able to start my family young. And I hope that once everyone's like away and doing school all day that I can continue my education and continue to build businesses or careers or whatever I feel like doing because I, I'm able to do this right now in my life when I'm young and healthy and, and have lots of energy. So it was just, the presentation was really, really great. She talked mostly about um, the temples in Egypt and the um, Latter-day Saint temples or the Mormon temples and how the similarities between the two. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how things, just the symbolism and things, how they kind of just, how the symbolisms in temples and things around the world all kind of coincide and how they just really like are practically the same. <laughs> But it was really fun and it's the the Mbasa or the MBA Association, um, sp the MBA Spouse Association, the girls who are in charge, they just are very cool and they get these things put together and they're really, really well put together. So it was a lot of fun. And I've always been really interested in like Egypt and hieroglyphics and things like that. And so it was, it was a nice just night away to to discuss things I never really think about anymore. It was really awesome and she's cool. And I hope I can be cool someday and like travel the world and study and learn and do all those types of things. Sometimes I feel like I'm so old and I know that probably sounds silly to like anybody who's older than me. I'm 26. Um, but sometimes I feel too old to like start anything new or do anything but um, this Joyce Smith, she is like still doing so much with her life and she's not, you know, she's not in her 30s anymore. She's not even in her 40s, but she like lives life to the fullest and I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, I'm really excited about this weekend. There's just like a really fun weekend and a really fun like next week planned. So I'm really excited trying to get all my videos lined up so that when we're out of town for Thanksgiving, I can still be posting. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.